Hi, uh, we had a little trouble with our J-Mart uh, Toy Baby Grand Piano. One of the keys was not only sticking, but it was just clunking. You know, it wasn't ringing. Uh, so I'm going to show you what the insides look like and, and how to fix it. What happens is there's four screws. There's two on each side. Now the other side, I've already un uh, done the screws just to speed this up. You don't need to spend your life watching me unscrew screws. There we go. And so this top then just pops off. Then on top, there are four screws, two on each side. So I'm going to undo those quickly. Again, the other, on the other side, I've already undone them. Now note, the screws on the top are a little shorter than the screws that were on the side, so don't mix your screws up. You want the whole thing to hold together. So now up here, this little JMR piano just uh, slides out. You need to open the top for this next part. And here's the guts. What happens is each key presses, a, you know, clicks on a pair of these rods. Well, way over here, one of these rods was actually touching this back panel. Ideally, I think I would have like moved it out of the way and then uh, drilled a hole. I mean, there are other holes in here already to make clearance, but what I did is I deflected this in. The ends of these rods are sharp, so I could just kind of grind away a little bit until I had the, uh, the clearance that I required. I suppose if your piano was out of tune, at least if it was a little sh uh, sharp, you could make it a little flatter by maybe grinding off the end of one of these, but I, mean, I wouldn't recommend that. Part of the charm of these pianos is that they, you know, they are a little discordant. I guess another thing I wanted to show you was how these keys come out. You know, just because, uh, just in case um, your kid drops some bubble gum or peanut butter or something down in there. I know I've had... Uh, computer keyboards in trouble and anyways these just all pull out very nicely and gently and then on them on them they're sort of you know labeled what key they're supposed to be here's uh, C I'm not sure what this this is M A so minor A anyway they just you pull this up and then they just slip back in and set I suppose you might even be able to put them in the dishwasher. I don't know. You might want to hand wash them if you want to be safe. Sometimes what happens is keys stick. And when the keys stick, you just, you know, turn the piano upside down and back upright. And then usually the, uh, the sticking stops. So we'll just uh, put this back together. Remembering the short screws go in the top. Probably best to go to the other side next to make sure your holes line up. I'm not finding a hole. There it is. And you want to be careful not to do them in too far because you'll, you know, strip the hole and then nothing will, uh, you know, you never get, get them back in again or you have to find screws that are a little bit oversized. Anyways, once I get this far, this was the key that was sticking. It rings just fine now. And this little guy slides back in here. This guy goes up here.
side. Again, probably best then to go to the far side. Back over here again. So anyways, I was really pleased that uh, they didn't have to like float any nails or undo any glue. It's all meant to, uh, to be taken apart, I guess, and, uh, and repaired. Thank you very much.